Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, it's using a retired stamp set. Oh, two actually, because that's retired as well. Stamp set I'm using is Night in Bethlehem, and I'm going to be using Mary and Joseph. And Star of Light, and I'm going to be using the Swirl. I'm also using Merry Christmas. Um, and I'm also going to use, I haven't got that out, but I'm going to use this sentiment. The light the shepherd saw that night. And I'm going to use that for the inside. I don't think I used it. Oh, I must have done it a bit pink. So, to make this card, you'll need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half, a piece of white cardstock of five and five eighths by three and seven eighths to go on the inside, a piece of night and navy at five and five eighths by three, no, yeah, five and five eighths by three and seven eighths to go on the top. And me being a skinflint at the moment, I have cut the circle. This is, I think it's the third. Let's measure it. This is a two and five eighths circle from the layering circles of Stamping Up. And I cut it out the night in navy. And you also need a piece of white cardstock of five, three and three, three and a half by five and five eighths. So we need that, we need that, and we need that. We don't need them yet. Also, I have cut out some houses because I need two houses for on there. I don't know what I've done with the rest of the houses that I had from this lot when I cut them out. But never mind. We'll use... I think we'll use them too. Yeah. So, we'll do that after I've done my stamping. Right. I'm going to use Night and Navy. Mary and Joseph. Now this stamp for some unknown reason is not stamping very well. I'll let you see what I mean. It's well covered and should pop that there. Let the ink transfer onto the paper. Lift it off. And that is the kind of stamping I'm getting. But I can fix that. With the Night and Navy Dark Blender Pen, I am just going to colour it in. No use complaining to stamping up about it. It was retired last year. I think it retired. Yeah, it was last year it retired. And I never used it last year because of this, or the way it's stamped. I used to stamp. All right, when. I first got it, but then it stopped. But I only need the outline and 
color it in. Donkey might have extra muscly legs. That's all right. Straighten that out. There we are. Sorted. There's always a way to sort your stamps if you want to use them. And there's glitter everywhere. Oh. I made a card earlier on using glitter, wished I hadn't. Right, smoky slate and a bit of post it note. We are going to stamp, right, our circle, where is it? It's going to sit there. So we want this just across the middle and we're going to ink up the thinner end of it and stamp that up there. Oh, did I say I'm using smoky slate? And we're going to turn it round because that will hide there. Turn it round. Put it down a bit that will stick. And do the same again. And bring that down like that. And there you have your stars on the top and the bottom. Right, I think we'll add a couple of little stars if I can find the stamp. And it's not, oh, there it is. Didn't think it was on here. I'm just going to put. Three stars there and yeah, that looks better. I'm going to leave that out and I'm going to do the same to the first one I did. Right, finish with that and I need. The night in navy again to do the sentiment. If you know me, I will stamp it upside down, and I've got it on the wrong place. stamp that at the top here oh you can't see sorry 
Merry Christmas, yeah. Now I'll keep that out and stamp this sentiment to go in here. And I shall stamp that. That's the stamping done. Now we need to make this um, circle up. Let's punch these out. I think I'll use these two houses. Just going to glue that down so that this is the edge of this is on the bottom of the um, circle. I've got some new glue bottles. Might not use as much glue. Now that I've got these, order three in ten come. It's supposed to have been a pack of three. so you don't cut the circle off. stars here which I kept when I cut a bow out um, it's from a, a bow die to make a bow and the pattern had stars which you poked out and I kept them for things like this so I'm going to add some glue and place stars on it. Get some out. Make sure I put them on the right way as well. Because you've got a bad way and a not bad way. The wrong way from cutting them out and the good way they're gold ones I don't want gold ones I 
And this is just a little pick-up pencil for gems. There is one in my gem box, I think. Well, they used to be. Don't use them very often. Right, and that is my houses done. Oh, my circled on with the houses. And that will just sit up there. Shouldn't be a house, it should be a stable. Right, and that needs dimensionals on the back. Start a new pack. Right, I think we're ready to stick this card together. So that top. I think it'll take a while to get used to them. I decanted a full bottle of Cosmic Shimmer Glue into four of these. wonder how long it'll last. Right, I stick the white on the blue, giving you the even border on both sides, so they fit edge to edge. And then we glue the blue down. says take the backings off the circle and place that there and then with Stella, hopefully it's not too overloaded. I am adding it to the stars. Yeah, a bit of glitter. I'm also adding it to the roof of the houses. the trees. And that is it. That is our Christmas card done for, oh it's a different sentiment. wonder what one I use there. Never mind. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. I'm going to add some stars to this one. 
um, yeah, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.